மவுலையா சல்லி வசல்லிம் தாயிமன் அபாதா ஹாபிபி <laughs> Do you know what the sweetness of iman is? Would you like to taste the sweetness of iman? Well then, listen what the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. That there are three qualities. If a person has these qualities, they will have tasted the sweetness of iman and they will taste the sweetness of iman. Number 1 and the most hardest one to love Allah and love his messenger Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam What does he mean by love Allah and his rasul He means following the steps of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam step by step fulfilling your obligations to Allah worshiping Allah as he ought to be worshiped refraining from sins staying away from disbelief and pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every day that is the meaning of loving Allah and his rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we know the quran ayah in order to love Allah follow the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and you will you will have a love for Allah number 2 to love someone to love a brother to love someone for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to love someone only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's the second quality and the third quality is to dislike any type any kind of disobedience to Allah to dislike any kind of disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when a person has these three qualities you will insha Allah taste the sweetness of iman and once you have tasted it once you have tasted the sweetness of the quran when when you recite it there will, there is nothing that you'd rather do except to recite the quran When you have tasted the sweetness of salah you will never ever miss a salah again you will never ever miss a salah again when you have taste, tasted the sweetness of sujood you will love to do sujood and remain in sujood as long as you can when you have tasted the sweetness of remembering allah and worshiping allah there is nothing that you'd rather do and anything that you feel may displease allah anything that you feel in your heart that may displease allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you will stay away from it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give special shade will give special shade to the people who only loved allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for everything Allah they loved Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for everything they have that Allah has given them on the day of resurrection Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say ayna al-muthabuna bi jalali who are those that who are those that loved me oh who are those that had love for me and for my glory where are them where are those people and they would be given this special shade ayna muthabuna bi jalali they would be given this special shade on the day of resurrection numerous hadiths are mentioning mention this fact so much so that the shuhada would start to envy these people subhanallah subhanallah the prophet of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam encouraged us to express our love for one another 
express our love for one another. If you love a brother in Islam, inshallah, express your love for him. Express your love so he knows that you love him for the sake of Allah and you will guide him only for the sake of Allah, not for any any other gains, only the, for the pleasure of Allah and you wish the best for your brother to go to Jannah. You wish the best for your brother to go to Jannah. This, this ties in, this subject does tie in with having good company, having um, good friends, good company. Because obviously bad company doesn't give you any, any good to create good friends, good company, inshallah. The Prophet وسلم, on one occasion took the hand of Mu'ad ibn Jabal radiallahu an. Took the hand of Mu'ad ibn Jabal radiallahu an. And he said to him, I love you for the sake of Allah. And he gave him a piece of advice that every after every fard salah of bringing to prayer, then you should read this dua. Allahumma a'inna ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadati. Oh Allah, give me the ability to remember you. Give me the ability to also show gratitude to you. And give me the ability to do the most perfect worship. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Give us the ability to understand the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the love for his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And inshallah by this love, it increases our iman, increases our connection with Allah. And through it, it is a means of salvation for us in the hereafter. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته